제주도에서 우리가 못 먹던 열대 과일들을 먹을 수 있다는 것은 굉장한 거예요. World News, I'm Tasha Madeira, our top stories. As the UN Security Council meets to discuss the coup in Sudan, the military says it's prepared to hold talks with protesters. We are the guarantors of this security and dreams. All of us, we should work hand in hand. Sweden considers reopening an investigation into rape allegations made against the WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange after his arrest in London. Chelsea bans three people from its Europa League quarter-final after racist chanting about the Liverpool player Mohamed Salah. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. In the past hour, Sudan's envoy to the United Nations has said that a two-year transition period to civilian rule could be shortened. A military council seized power following the ousting of President Omar al-Bashir. Protesters, though, are demanding that elections be held as soon as possible. And the situation has been discussed by the United Nations Security Council. With report from our World Affairs correspondent, Paul Adams. <laughs> The revolution did not go to sleep. Throughout the night, tens of thousands of people thronged the streets of the capital, defying a military coup. The atmosphere was festive. Yesterday saw the end of a 30-year dictatorship. But for all the song and dance, there's real anxiety too. The demonstrators are not willing simply to swap one military leader for another. <laughs> Once again, ordinary soldiers mingled and participated, the apparent support of rank and file giving the crowds the feeling they're not alone. The new day brought no let up on the streets. The demand here is for real, not cosmetic change. Hello, Matthew. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing just okay. Thanks. And you? And you? I'm doing excellent, thank you. What is new? Mm, I'm on holidays right now. Okay. And? And that's the last holidays before summer holidays. Okay. So how long are they going to be? Uh, repeat your question, please. I just did not How get it. How long are your holidays going to be? Uh, actually, they end uh, this uh, the next Monday. Okay. And Unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> what have you been doing? 
You know, I just uh, spent my time uh, preparing to Russian state exam. Uh, yeah, I do this that this early uh, in history, in English, and uh, so. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I want you to talk about today, uh, just for the beginning, kind of warming up. I would like to talk uh, about computer games and um, let me see, I will be showing you something. So uh, what do you generally think of uh, computer games? I think that uh, in some, sometimes they are fun, but uh, I'm I'm not very keen on computer games and I can't just play one computer game for a long time because it's getting boring for most uh, for most of the time. Well, but I think that yes, go for but uh, uh, in general I think that it is a great kind of entertainment because it's not always possible to uh, make some entertainment uh, in real life that uh, is similar uh, to the computer games such as uh, artificial intelligence that is playing against you and so on no, not, yeah. it's very I've said very strong artificial intelligence but it's it's computer which is calculating possible moves and possible situations and you can just uh, find a right person to uh, play a board game with you in such a manner the computer will do. Okay. Yeah, probably um, when you when you talk about artificial intelligence, um, I think that uh, many years ago now they are the um, computer bots uh, on the internet, which you can talk. Um, I, I think that they, they've been for several years now. Like maybe you heard about yeah. Alice. Um, yeah, but yeah, but that's not too. Uh, they're not. They may be too. Uh, they may be advanced, but they cannot uh, be real artificial intelligence because they are working uh, according to a script, according to a programmed uh, okay. instructions, and uh, they are not uh, reacting to situations directly. They just uh, choose uh, one of the possible and uh, one of the not so many possible ways of behaving, responding yeah. to different situations. Yeah, I understand, but um, you know, if you think of uh, computer translation, uh, machine translation, it's um, becoming better and better uh, every day, and uh, uh, it's not very long before uh, the day will come when uh, the computer translation will be better than the human transla translation. Um, I can I can tell you that for sure because I use uh, the computer translation machine translation almost every day Google Translate and they've been improving uh, almost every day. So artificial intelligence is a great future, absolutely fantastic future. Um, uh, if, yeah, you remember, yeah. if you remember, for some fixed situations, was it? What is that? Uh, I just want to say for, for, some, for that for some uh, situations that uh, uh, you know narrow and like chess and uh, machine trans translation and so on, artificial intelligence now is really efficient because there are not so many situations it can handle it. it it must handle in this situation. Chess uh, have some limited number of moves that uh, are possible, and uh, about the translations, it's the same. But for uh, real uh, artificial intelligence, it 
like uh, behaving in real lives that uh, have myriads of different combinations of uh, situations that's, and that's really hard to adapt our software to uh, that's this variety. For uh, translation and chess and many other uh, mirror scenarios of uh, using artificial intelligence, it's, it's more efficient. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, probably, uh, probably right, but um, you know, if you think about some uh, human beings, uh, I would say that uh, their options of, uh, uh, let's say, expressing their ideas in their language even uh, is pretty much limited also. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I think that um, computer um, has much more uh, ability to have uh, all of these uh, options enlisted than many, many human beings. So uh, then I, I just want to remind you of, uh, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of computer games or I, I, I don't know a lot about computer games, but uh, what I heard is that um, very interesting thing was uh, uh, with, uh, I think, Pokemon, um, uh, when uh, it was possible for you to have the extended uh, reality. The meaning is that um, you had uh, this uh, uh, application on your cell phone and uh, uh, this application will, um, will prompt you where uh, some hidden treasures or I don't know, uh, some, some people are hidden. Um, so that's uh, probably Sometimes it, uh, it it might be pretty interesting. What do you think? Yeah, it can be pretty interesting when uh, this game was released. Uh, many uh, people just thought that the new uh, way of communicating with uh, computer games with uh, imaginary worlds uh, has come uh, that you can uh, experience some advanced, some extended reality for uh, with uh, in this way, but uh, time passed and uh, the uh, the noise about this uh, kind of games and this game as part in particular has died out and nothing uh, nothing more uh, All more right. successful in this field comes out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably uh, we don't know that much about this stuff. Um, so uh, because uh, you know that uh, it's uh, um, it's kind of a general fact that uh, for uh, your um, well, hello, Oksana. Uh, please do not use video uh, because the connection is really poor, and uh, you will just. Uh, fail our connection. If you, if you don't mind, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, um, okay, uh, Matthew, um, please uh, um, meet Oksana and uh, talk to her and ask, ask a question. Hello, Oksana. How are you doing? Uh, can you hear us, Oksana? Hello, can you hear us? Uh, this is a conversational class. We usually only talk here. That's uh, we don't do anything else. We only talk. All right. If she doesn't want, maybe later. Yeah. So see, she's disconnected. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so um, yeah, going back to this idea. So as as I can understand that we do not know a lot, and uh, it's a general fact that uh, artificial intelligence is uh, the future of everything. Um, and uh, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's a reality. I mean, the translation, the machine translation is uh, getting uh, better and better um, every day, every moment. So, but uh, today I'm not talking about artificial um, intelligence. I'm talking about, yeah, first of all, you use the keen on 
which is typically British and uh, probably in American language they do not use it a lot. So what would you think of, um, uh, you said, I'm not very keen on uh, computer games. What would you say uh, instead of keen on for American language? What is it? The, the most universal thing as I, uh, as I think uh, is uh, interested in or Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say so. I'm not very I'm not much interested. Yeah, I'm not very much interested in uh, computer games. Yeah, I don't particularly like uh, computer games. I'm not a big fan of. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big. That's very common. Of computer games. Yeah. Uh, but uh, do not forget that uh, you know some people will just uh, question you. What are you talking about when you say I'm not very keen on? But that's okay. So uh, what I want you to talk about today, I want you to talk about a particular game, uh, which is uh, Minecraft. So what do you think of uh, generally of Minecraft? Mm, it's a little maybe surprising for me because that uh, this game is uh, still popular because I've played it when I was in primary school and it was really fun with this thing they call open world where you can just create anything, everything your fantasy uh, allows you. And uh, that's very, with very unusual graphics consisting of uh, cubes, but uh, I don't think that uh, game is uh, very catching. Uh, I don't think, uh, but maybe some uh, people who are very interested in this game, they just uh, still create some interesting projects. Uh, they still create some. Uh, objects of art in this game. I had a friend that uh, created, you know, the uh, full-sized model of a uh, Titanic ship in this game, and this was really fantastic, but I'm not very enthusiastic. I wasn't, and I uh, am not very enthusiastic about this kind of thing. Yeah, so the question is, uh like you said, and um, I have uh, some confirmation that this is uh, the second best-selling computer game ever. Um, the first is uh, Tetris, uh, you know, that's the Russian development. Uh, yeah. And number two of uh, all time is uh, uh, Minecraft. So the, the meaning is that even this uh, GTA or any other computer game is... Uh, just uh, something behind. Uh, how can you explain this popularity? So uh, the, my, my point is, what's, uh, yeah, first of all, uh, you know, there are several types of computer games. Uh, what types of computer games do you know? And what type of computer game is uh, Minecraft? Mm, I'm not very, I can't uh, really explain you all the genres because I'm I wasn't interested in it. But and I can't explain what uh, genre is uh, Minecraft because. Um, but I know some genres of uh, computer games like uh, arcade games, uh, shooter games, and uh, strategic games and. Um, Maybe some simulators, like uh, simulators, maybe practically of everything. That's uh, that will take too much time to categorize them. Well, and well, you know that uh, for me, uh, of course, the most interesting uh, thing about uh, any about any topic we talk is uh, linguistic. Um, so uh, going back. Uh, what do you think? What type of computer game is uh, Minecraft? Yeah, first of all, I just wanted to add that to your vocabulary, and uh, I, I think that I'm sure that you know this word quest, right? Oh, yeah. It's yes. like an adv ad adventure, yeah. Adventure, yeah. 
Um, yeah. so what, what, kind of, what kind of game is uh, Minecraft? And you see, I, I learned about that maybe a couple of days ago because um, I, I talked to my um, second uh, uh, year students, uh, which are eight uh, to nine years old. I talked with them yeah. about uh, what they do in their um, free time and they said that Minecraft is their best leisure. So uh, that was why I, I went, uh, you know, to Wikipedia or uh, I, I don't know, some uh, stories about Minecraft, I, I read it in English and I figured out that they have a very specific term uh, for naming uh, this type of games. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to hear this term. Okay, that's, they, they're called sandbox. Sandbox. Sand, ah, yeah, I've heard it, yeah. So it's kind of you can uh, you can create everything in this uh, yeah like in the, yeah. in the beach you know in the beach you can uh, uh, yeah. build uh, the sand castles um, and so the sandbox is i think is in in every yard i mean in every courtyard of uh, uh, our apartment buildings okay correct mm -hmm. Yeah, so do you understand the word sandbox? Can you translate into Russian? Yeah, I, I understand this. Yeah. In Russian. Okay, so uh, let's be more specific and uh, just. Uh, okay, I, I will. Yeah. No, um, I, I want to. Uh, I want to um, show you. Yeah, that's. Um, so what is that? Uh, I, it's one of the standard, uh, you know, standard figures that uh, are used in this game as far as I can remember. Mm. Well, that's they call it, they yeah. call it thing, if, yeah, that's generally it. Well, uh, the, the proper name, instead of figures, we, uh, in English they say uh, figurines, figurines. But we do not use the word figurine uh, for computer games. We use the word character. So that's, uh, yeah, can, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's the book. character, yeah. Um, so what's his name? Mm, I can see it in the title of uh, the window. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's really new to me because I don't remember if I I can not remember it, and I may hadn't. Uh, oh, this is more familiar. So you see, it's it's the same character. The only thing is that uh, in different types of uh, uh, games, they have different skins. If you yeah. uh, so, the name of this character is. Uh, Steve, as I can see in the title. Yeah, and uh, this is a player or uh, Alex. And uh, yeah. you know that they are very specific in uh, their so called skins or their clothing. I mean, that uh, for Alex is uh, typically this uh, blue t shirt and uh, dark blue uh, pants, and then um, or um, uh, for Alex, it's kind of a longer red hair, which are on uh, one side of his, on uh, one shoulder. Okay, um, all right, so how about that? Mm. Oh, memories of primary school, so many. Uh, and uh, this is the thing that uh, used to uh did detonate uh, to uh to burst when uh when you disturb them uh, it's called creeper and uh, at night in the game it's it's kind of really creepy <laughs> so what is uh, creeper what is creepy and what is to creep so it's something it's something uh, frightening. 
it's something yeah yeah um so uh thank you and uh, uh let's go further on so what is that mm, that is this character uh, on the uh, ceiling of the of some uh, I just don't know how to, in English what kind of ah, that that that's a sheep as I can see Okay, so how about that? Is this kind of a sword? We pronounce it sword. I just sword, sword but sword. Yeah, I can't it. make out uh, why, it's, why it's blue. But uh, you have to know that. Okay, I will help you. All right, so I have to change uh, uh, the uh, demonstration for you. So that you will be able to understand why uh, I'm using this. Okay, so that's the sword. And uh, if you have a look at the sword, so it, it changes uh, the color. You can see it. Why is ah, it? It's, yeah, it's. It's different levels of the sword. It's of sword. It's different kind of sword that sword. Uh, sword, sword. Uh, now, now it's better. Yeah. Is it better now? Yes, it is. So uh, is it a different shade, differentiated uh, for the uh, for their might and uh, how to say. Durability, uh, durability, maybe. Okay, um, let's go on. So, as I said, um, the list of uh, best-selling uh, video games ever. So that's Tetris number one, and Minecraft is number two. Uh, Grand Theft Auto number three, and then Wii Sports. Do you have any idea about Wii Sports? What is that? Mm, it's some. Uh, I have only one idea. It's some game uh, which is uh, this. What which was designed for a uh, uh, game console Nintendo Wii. Okay. Uh, let me. But I have no other ideas. Yeah, I will. I will show it to you. So, um, can you see the uh, picture now? Yeah. So this is typical Wii game. Uh, the meaning is that uh, you stand in front of a huge uh, TV screen and uh, you do all the necessary movements. If you can see, two people here are playing baseball and they are really playing it. The, the meaning is that yeah. they have real movement. Um, or you can, you know, they can do the boxing. And uh, uh, the, uh, another player can be uh, in their own apartment or um, can be separated and uh, be in a very different location. So they also can play bowling, uh, they can play um, basketball, they can play um, uh, ping pong, or they can play, play lawn tennis, uh, lots and lots yeah. of very, uh, very popular sports, uh, which uh, require lots of movement. Uh, like, yeah. And so some people think that this is a, an excellent way uh, to keep fit. Uh, so that uh, this is one of the types of computer games which are really good for you. Mm, maybe it's it's true because most computer games just don't require such movements and they do not uh, help you keeping keep, to keep fit in any way. 
but uh, this is uh, really a good thing compared to these because uh, they ha you have to uh, leave your leave your couch and uh, and move in some way to play this game. That's re that can be really helpful. Yeah, the question is why are not that popular in Russia? Uh, I mean, uh, have you ever seen this uh, Wii console uh, at some of your friend's house? No, because Nintendo products are not so popular in Russian. Actually, they are uh, not very popular in the world too, but uh, there are some, a bunch of fans that uh, just keep uh, buying consoles from this uh, well, it's a very different console. Actually. It's it's not uh, the actual Nintendo console. And when you say that Nintendo is not very popular, just think about Mario Brothers Mario. I think that's uh, one of the most popular games ever. Also, so um, mm, it's it's it was the most popular game thanks to Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, sold in the nineties or uh, oh. Um, 80s in USA and uh, later uh, its pirate clone uh, known as uh, known as well uh, Matthew uh, I'm giving you the, the facts I'm giving you the facts by September 2018 so in September 2018 uh, Mario Brothers were one two three four five six seven eight best-selling um, computer game in the world and they sold as you can see 43 million uh, copies of it so I think that yeah. the, you, you can see that most of the games were developed by Nintendo but you see that uh, I don't really uh, I don't really argue with you, argue with you, but I should say that uh, the date is the date of the initial release and not the date of uh, the record. Uh, and uh, the game was only re uh, first time released at uh, yeah, in. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's go on and uh, just uh, talk about other characters. Um, yeah, so, um, just hold on, it will start, yeah, so we talked about this, and how about this, uh, character, do you know this character? Oh, it's, it's completely new to me, because when I, uh, when I played, uh, Minecraft couple, no, not couple, Five years ago, maybe there was no such character in this game. Okay, uh, it says that um, uh, Blaze is a flying mob, and these Minecraft characters they shoot fireballs, and they spawn mm -hmm. in the Nether, Netherland, or in the Nether. Mm -hmm. So you see, why I'm interested in that again? I never, I never played Minecraft, and uh, I'm, I'm probably. I, I, I will never will, but uh, see, I enjoy uh, lots of new vocabulary and uh, fantastic vocabulary. Like, uh, do you know the word blaze? No, actually. But well, it's. You, you try to learn it. It's uh, some kind of music you plan in you, which is pretty interesting. Okay. How about this one? This is Skeleton. Yeah. That's. What does he do? Uh, when I played the game, uh, uh, this uh, creature, this mob, just uh, used uh, his uh, its bow to shoot at uh, yeah, other bow to, to shoot what other characters. What? Uh, what did he shoot? His uh, you, you said that he used his bow to shoot what? To shoot arrows. Yeah, to shoot arrows. And uh, this is a hostile mob, 
according to the terminology of Minecraft. Okay, very good. So, and then uh, you know that what is interesting for me again from the linguistically point of view that this bow can become enchanted. Do you know the word enchanted? Uh, I know the word enchanted. It's kind of. Can you say? Uh, uh, translate. Yeah. Uh, нечто вроде заколдованный, зачарованный или что-то очарован. Yeah, absolutely. So the bow can be зачарованный, which is interesting to me. All right. So that's what we talked about. We talked about that. And this is cat. And this is also lot. And uh, how about that? Snow golem. Have you ever heard of snow golem? This, this kind of as far as I remember, this creature can be made uh, by player only. Okay, and uh, how, how do you make? It? How do you create a snow golem? And what is the Russian word for snow golem? Um, I don't remember how to create it. Uh -huh. Exactly. Oh, it's, 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 I it's, just looked up this. Yeah. You can. Ah, you can create snow bombs by building two snow blocks, towers, and, and pumpkin heads. Yeah, it's clearly visible from the image. Yeah. 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 Right. So, um, in Russian, it is. Mm, Snежный golem. Uh, yeah. Um. So how about? How about this, Enderman? Mm. Have you heard of them? No. Okay, how about the Ender Dragon? I just uh, heard of this uh, as a final um, boss, maybe, for Minecraft to complete this game. So is it he or she? Is it a mm, dragon? I don't know. It's it's a she dragon. <laughs> it's a female dragon, uh, and lives in the end. So again, yeah, in the end of the game. Yeah, it's kind of interesting also. And how about this guy? It's called the Wither. So what is the Wither in Russian? Did I don't know this word, unfortunately. Yeah, that's Isushitel. Wither, Isushai. So uh. can you describe this guy? No. It, it has three heads. I mean, might it? It has three heads. Okay. You can see. It, right. uh, it has three heads and some. Um, we have no body. <laughs> All right. So you, I just tried to remind you a little bit of uh, Minecraft and uh, uh, why I was just interested in uh, talking about that. Okay, good. Then now uh, we'll change the topic and um, I will move uh, to uh, the grammar material which we started talking in the previous class. Um, so, um, read the, the task, please. Read the text below. How similar or different are secondary schools in your country? What changes have been, have there been in in the last 50 years. Okay. Uh, classrooms have changed considerably yeah, in the on. last... Uh, first of all, the, that's the question to you. So, how similar or different are secondary schools in your country? What changes have there been in the last 50 years? Well, that's, that's a good idea to uh, talk about that after reading the text, but um, I, I just want to... Uh, do some kind of, uh, you know, anticipation. Uh, the meaning is, uh, can you compare um, these, uh, the secondary schools in uh, our country, um, let's say how they changed um, the, during the last 50 years? What do you mm, I don't think there was uh, um, a massive change in these schools because all the school reforms uh, happened uh, more than 50 years ago. Uh, 
I uh, mention only considerable ones like uh, uh, like uh, making education really uh, affordable for all the people and uh, it's a reform of uh, how to say how to say uh, girls and boys uh, study together okay um matthew uh, as you know that uh, we will finish uh, in a minute our conversation and uh, i i'm very grateful to you for joining me in my classroom and uh, uh, if you have any questions any comments any ideas uh, any protests uh, just feel free to uh, tell about that now Mm, I don't think I have some uh, protests, but I want to thank you for this uh, incredible job to practice English with uh, some people that are willing to do it because there are no such experience uh, available in my situation because in my city there is no, not much English speakers. Okay. All right, uh, thank you so much, and uh, hopefully I will see you on next Friday, all right? Yeah, all right. Okay, have, a good, uh, have a good weekend. You too, thanks. And bye for now. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.